Hey there Mouseketeers, Kate from Princess Mini here and I am crazy excited to bring you a video about one of my absolute favorite things which is Disney artwork. So everything I'm going to show you today has a Disney flair and most of them are from small shops, the vast majority. I'm also going to do my best to put all of the links that I can in the description box below so that you can get yourself some amazing Disney artwork as well as support some small shops maybe for the holiday season that is quickly approaching. So you might be saying, Kate, what's with the tube? Well, I'll tell you. My friends over at the company Mapiful asked to send me something for review and it was customized artwork. So Mapiful is a really cool company. I'm definitely going to be linking them first down in the description below. It's super customizable artwork that you can hang. They have lots of um, framing options as well. So I also have one of their really cool frames. So we're going to definitely try to um, put this all together. But they're kind of known for doing maps, you know, hence map if full. And the maps are gorgeous. I really struggled with what I wanted to get from this company. And I ultimately did decide I wanted something with a Disney flair, but their maps are gorgeous. The thing that stood out to me most was maybe a map of Paris. Next year in 2021, my husband and I were really hoping to go to Disneyland Paris and also see the city. And of course, with everything that's going on in the world that's really not possible right now but I can totally see myself once we go to Paris get coming back and getting a map full of the city. I think that would be a great way to remember that trip and obviously you could do that with any city in the world but they also offer fictional places like Hogwarts or Westeros so your little like fandom heart it can be satisfied it's so cool. I still decided on something totally different. And again, I wanted something Disney-ish. And I also wanted something to commemorate my wedding anniversary with my husband, which is quickly approaching in December. We're going to be married for eight years. So I actually designed, and it was super, super easy, one of their text art prints, something I've always wanted to, to make. And we last year were in Disney for Thanksgiving and we got pictures with the lanterns in, by the Rapunzel Tangled Bathrooms in Magic Kingdom. So I turned that into a text art print, meaning the photo is comprised of text. And so I actually took lines from the song At Last I See the Light from Tangled to go with the art. So here is what it looks like. I've only seen this once um, when I first got this to make sure it arrived okay and I am just absolutely still stunned by this. I love it so much. I think it looks great. It looks so great from far away on camera. I think maybe even better than up close. It looks so good from far away. And so the text says, and at last I see the light, all at once, everything looks different now that I see you. I couldn't put the lyrics from the whole song. They do have like a max number of characters you can include, but I figured that kind of really got to the heart of the song for me. I love this. I did have them write John and Kate established 2012, the year we got married at the bottom. I am so crazy about this. They have a lot of great examples on their website that you should totally check out where the picture is a lot lighter. I chose a very dark style because that is my own personal style, but they have a lot of different styles. I just kind of wanted a really dark background where you could kind of see us and you could also kind of make out like a lantern print, which I totally think you can from, especially from the distance you guys are from the camera. It looks so fantastic. I'm so thrilled about it and I can't wait to hang this up. So big thanks to my friends over at Mapiful. I highly recommend making your own text art or um, like map art. They also have star charts, whether, th and that's like two things. It's either your zodiac sign. I know a lot of people out there are super into their zodiac sign. Um, I'm a Taurus, by the way. And they also have like star charts. And you could put like, if I wanted to get what the stars looked like on the day I got married, I could totally do that. Of course, I needed something Disney-ish, but they have so many cool things. You should totally check check them out, whether it's for the holiday season, a birthday, or like I did, an anniversary. So definitely a very, very good splurge. 
And before I forget, I wanted to let you know this paper feels so good. It reminded me they print on museum graded paper and it's going to last and last and last. And also they use eco-friendly printing, both in like the way that they print and the materials that they use. So that is awesome. All right, guys, I was crazy excited to have you see that custom artwork, but um, everything else in this video I totally love, and I bought a lot of it with the expectation that it might go up in the background behind me, and I did pay for everything else um, with my own money, and the people who <laughs> sent me these things, these artists, they have no idea that I'm doing this review, and so uh, I think you should definitely go follow all of them. I find most of the people I buy artwork from actually on Instagram, so I will try to provide their Instagrams down below. Okay, first one. Now, this is an artist on Instagram who I think now goes by the name, she changed it maybe in the last year, but now it's 27 Willow Lane, and she is so cool. She does Instagram stories all the time of how she makes her products, and her sales... I mean, she sells out like crazy. It's so hard to get anything from her, so I normally never even try. She makes really cool, like, wooden pieces that she hand makes everything. She's so talented. Um, but she started to make prints of some of her artwork, and I'm so excited because it's way more accessible, um, and so a lot more people can get them. And what I ordered from her is a twofold. So again, she's made this in like wooden frame style art and also prints. And so the first thing is all of the Disney Park castles. You have Anaheim, Orlando, Tokyo, Paris, Hong Kong, and Shanghai with some sketches of the castles. I think this is so minimalist, which is not something I normally use to describe my style, but obsessed with the color scheme, especially. I love the castles. If I could take only like maybe one piece of iconography from Disney to decorate with it would be the castle and this is so cool it's printed so nicely I can't wait to frame this I love this again links down below you should go get it for yourself and it's all the castles I mean how cool is that maybe even a little cooler and I will definitely start hanging this up for sure every Halloween it's all of the haunted mansions from around the world. You have Anaheim, Orlando, Hong Kong, Paris, and Tokyo. That is incredible. So all of the, ha oh, all of the haunted mansions or their equivalent in that park. This one looks a lot different compared to the castles because there are more differences in the haunted mansion buildings than there are in the castles. The sketches are gorgeous. The color scheme is on point and I am just completely obsessed. I think that my favorite drawing would probably have to be the one at the bottom, Tokyo. Seriously, how cool, right? All right, so the next thing is another like print. Um, it's called an art board, I believe, officially on the website Redbubble, where independent artists can have designs and then they can print those designs on a, like a myriad of products. So like they can put them on t-shirts or mugs or cosmetic pouches, or in this case, art prints. We order a lot of t-shirts from Redbubble and um, I happened to put in a big order for the holidays already, but I had to get a little something for me and I got something else Haunted Mansion. Look at that purple. Isn't that amazing? And all of these little Haunted Mansion icons are in white. I think it's super pops. Again, this is definitely going to be part of my Halloween decor next year. And it's awesome. You have like the gargoyle. You have the, I mean, some of these things you wouldn't even think of as like icons, I feel like from the ride. But you have the birthday cake where in the ballroom scene, there is a ghost blowing out her birthday cake. You have Madame Leota's crystal ball. You have, um, um, the clock that goes to 13 o'clock. <laughs> There's so many great things. The bride, the sing bus, the floating candelabra. I could go on and on. Instead, I'll let you see it. And I mean, incredible.
this next one is from another Instagrammer, an Instagram artist, I should really say, who I followed for a very long time and always wanted to get something from her and I finally, finally did off her Etsy. So I'll try to link that down below. She does such cool original Disney artwork and it is Bubble Chic Chick. I believe that's true on Instagram and Etsy. I got this gorgeous, I think it's eight by eight, picture of Mickey and Minnie in their celebration birthday dresses or looks. <laughs> and I was so shocked to see this. I'm obsessed. She's another one that does a lot of like wooden products. She also makes really cool mugs. And I mean, you can't go wrong with anything from her shop. Everything is just gorgeous. She does some pins. She really does it all. And you should definitely go check it out, especially with the holidays coming up. Now that being said, I wanted some artwork to go alongside that artwork and so I actually did have some pictures printed out. That's why I said not everything is from a small shop. I had a couple pictures printed out of a family trip where we did get to meet Mickey and Minnie in their outfits. I can't decide which ones I want to uh, like display, so I had a few printed up. Maybe you guys could let me know in the comments below what you love. And um, definitely going to do them like side by side. Did you notice that I'm wearing the same ears now as I was in those pictures? Thank you, Melissa, for these amazing ears that helped me do that Cinderella Disney bound back two Julys ago. What? Um, I didn't even mean to wear them <laughs> in this video, like because of that photo, I just really felt like wearing them. I thought they'd look good with my stitch and scrump um, hoodie. That was pretty cool coincidence. <laughs> Another picture that I had printed out from Snapfish was this gorgeous castle shot with some out of focus flowers at the bottom. You see Main Street, you see the castle. I'll show it up close so there's you know no glare on it. But this was actually a photo that Disney uploaded to My Disney Experience that you could just print out. So I downloaded it, uploaded it to Snapfish and printed it out. I actually blew it up. You can like in its original form, there were more flowers at the bottom, but I just thought this was so gorgeous and I wanted it in this size. I thought it would look so pretty on the wall back here, but obviously I'll have to frame it. <laughs> All right, guys, this next thing has a holiday spin to it. I am so thrilled about that. I'm all about the holidays. My next video is going to be a holiday haul. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Definitely make sure to check that out. But I follow a UK based tattoo artist who specializes in Disney and other fandom tattoos and artwork. And it's Princess Ray Tattoo, I believe. Again, it'll be in my description box on Instagram. You should definitely follow her if you're just like into tattoos too, because I get to see really cool tattoos that she's doing all the time, um, whether they're freshly done or whether they're healed. Um, so there's always cool content on her Instagram. And she also has a little shop. And now I can't say that you'll be lucky enough to get these. These sold out super, super fast, but she has lots of other incredible artwork and I believe she is coming up with more. Um, so she's trying to get rid of some of the artwork. You might even be able to snag some on sale possibly. So check out her shop or just follow her so that the next time she has an artwork release, you can get it for yourself. These were so reasonably priced guys. I got four packs of Christmas cards and she designed them herself and they have her very like, uh, her own spin on like Disney artwork. The characters have like some, some like uh, lines as if they're being animated or really rosy cheeks. They're so cute. Anyway, so this was a princess set. I love the princesses she chose. I love um, that she kind of had to, I think, create some of their holiday looks. There's even um, little ornaments in there. The whole color scheme is gorgeous. Everything about it's gorgeous. I don't really send out Christmas cards too much. So I bought these as artwork and to give to friends and family members so they can use it as artwork. So that came as a set with this Mickey head wreath designed with a ton of Disney iconography. It says have a magical Christmas down below. I mean, 
probably one of my absolute favorites from this little haul from her. The other two feature Mickey and Minnie. One of them, they're in a snow globe. I'm not a big snow globe fan, but I do have a couple of snow globes that feature Mickey and Minnie at Christmas time. It's like my only like snow globe nod that I have usually. And then they're sledding in the other one. I mean, these are gorgeous. They are a great size. Hopefully I can find frames for these. I'm not quite sure. They might be like six by six, I'm thinking. Um, so if you know any good places for six by six frames, let me know. And last but certainly not least is not something new, but I do get questions about this. So I really wanted another chance to talk to you about the artwork that I do have in my background right now. It's, I'm in a very transitional phase. I had a very festive Halloween background and I plan on doing a big Christmas background, but right now it's in transition. <laughs> Next time that you see it really decorated will be for, for Christmas. So don't expect a lot of my background from November, but I do get to show you a mostly unobstructed view of two gorgeous art prints from my friend Grant. He has a Facebook group called Co-Create and I will link that in the description box below. He is such a nice person and he will design you custom Disney artwork. Oh my goodness gracious. Grant, if you watch this, will you also do something for Universal? Because I'm going to Universal. Let me know. Um, but so he created this Epcot print um, it says World Travelers for me and my sister going around a Cot World Showcase. And I have a glass of champagne in my hand. Lauren has a margarita in her hand. Like every single thing in here, I got to say what I liked. Like I picked our outfits, our shoes, our headbands, um, our drinks. Grant did an incredible job designing based on like what I asked, based on the pictures of us. He actually did this again and again and again until it was like perfect in his estimation, not mine. <laughs> in his estimation, it had to be perfect. And he is just a fantastic person. Look at that. I mean, really? And my sister has one as well. It was a gift for her. So she has hers up in her living room too. She loves it. And of course, this was the first one that I got. It says, as soon as I saw you, I knew an adventure was going to happen um, me and my husband and this is an actual outfit I wore to Disney on um, my birth for my birthday trip a year and a half ago and then I just kind of put my husband in an outfit he normally would look like he would wear I am completely in love with this I'm definitely planning on purchasing more artwork from Grant as you just heard me ask him a minute ago so definitely hit him up I'm also gonna put his email address below because if you don't have Facebook or if you just want to contact him directly you should definitely email him so he sent me a digital copy I think I converted it to PDF so I could upload it to Snapfish and then I waited for they all always are having sale. Please never buy anything at Snapfish full price. I think I waited until they had a 50% off sale, then it went to 60% off. So I was a dummy there. Um, <laughs> and so I got these beautiful wrapped framed canvases uh, for like 40 bucks each. I think they're normally about 80 in this size. And I am just, I'm so blown away. So definitely something to think about for the holidays. Like, I mean, it's November already, right? So like, if you're interested in Grant making you something for the holidays, I would get on that ASAP because it is a lengthy process, right? To like come up with an idea, to have him have time to design it, to get back to you. Like maybe we're talking more Valentine's Day. I don't want to speak for Grant, but like have reasonable expectations. <laughs> um, so guys, you have to let me know you thought about today's artwork haul. I'm in love with everything and uh, definitely you check some of these out for yourself whether it's for the holidays a birthday a gift to yourself I think we all deserve a gift to ourselves right now I always believe that though so I'm kind of a bad person to listen to <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you real soon